Welcome back friends. Uh, today in this video we are going to do a read operation and this going, is going to be a very short video. So in the previous video we have uh, did the create operation and that was one little long video. Uh, so uh, what we have done, so when uh, user will click on the add user and here user will enter something like test user 2 and any username, any phone number, any age and when the user will click on add user and user will be added successfully and in the database you can see the user as well uh, so in the users so you can see test user 2 and test user is there so now what we are going to do so we are going to create a service create a function in the service so that we can uh, read all the users but there will be a constraint so we will only read those users those are created by this id so that we are going to do and here let's add one more user as well so that one is uh, user new and email user uh, at the rate user.com age let it be 30 and created by so created by let's add a string so first of all let me go to the app right console project again I have to fetch the ID of the user so now let's go to the auth so in the auth let's take the ID of this test user so I'm going to copy this ID and whenever I go here so I will paste this ID test username and phone number let it be like anything 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and just click on next and here just click on create so you can see that we have now test username so but we have to fetch only these ones only these ones we have to fetch so let's see uh, how we can do that so I will go to the source folder and then I will go to the service in the service I will go to the auth uh, contact service and in the contact service so first of all we are going to create a function get documents so this function we have and it will be asynchronous function and we don't need anything we need only one thing that is user id and it will be of type string so once we got the user id so here we are going to use await this dot db dot get documents uh, instead of get documents uh, there is one thing that is list documents so we need the list document here and here we need the database id and after that we need collection id so just copy and paste this this is done so now what it will do so this will list all the documents but we want only those two documents which is having created by so for that we have to add a query here so you can see that we have a query so for that we have to import the query from app right so let's import the query and here we will apply a query so that is query uh, dot equal so we will apply a query on created by so created by will be the user id that's it so we don't have to do anything so this is the read service uh, so here now I'm going to copy this get documents so let's go to the app in the app we will go to the page.tsx and here first of all we have to get the user so here I'm going to import two services from at the rate slash service so first we are going to import all service and then we are going to import contact service so first of all we are going to get the user and set the user 
set the user and here we are going to use use state and by default the user will be of type any and it will be null and the second thing we are going to create list documents documents and set documents and by default it will be of any array and array will be null and the third thing we are going to create for the loading and we are going to set the loading here and use state it will be of boolean and by default loading will be true now let's apply the use effect so use effect and first of all we are going to fetch the user before that we have to create two instances so first instance for the auth service is equals to await auth service dot get instance and same uh, actually we don't have to use await and here will be the contact service for the contact service we are going to get the instance then and here we are going to get first of all fetch data and by default the loading will be true and this will be the asynchronous function and first of all we are going to get the user so we have to get the user here so for that i am going to use cons response is equals to await that is auth service dot get account and i am going to set the user with this one that is get uh, response then and now we are going to fetch the users so for that what we are going to do that is uh, contact uh, await and then contact service dot get documents and here we have to pass the id so that one is response dollar sign id that's it and let it be any so you can see that uh, in the contact new we have done the same thing in the previous video and here you can see that we have added the user and we are passing the user dash id so this same thing we are doing here and this one we are going to pass as string uh, this one will be a string here then and then let's set the documents set documents as context and then we are going to set loading as false loading as false set loading false uh, so before setting uh, let's console it console.log context and just save it so here we are going to use fetch data and if loading will be there so we are going to use here we will check if user or if user will be there so then we are going to just json dot stringify the user uh not user we are documents otherwise we are going to use this one save it so that is done okay so now let's test it uh, so let's go back let's go back here so you can see that we have a use state we have a error here so we have to make this as a client so let me make this as a client use server just save it now let's see uh, sorry it is use client not use server now let's see it is reloading again let's wait for it now we have the data here so let's see the console 
in the console we are getting undefined page dot tsx 19 so we are getting this as undefined so it is running on so just save this <clears throat> let's see it again let's do one thing so here instead of await let's write dot then so we have dot then here and if we are getting the response so let's add set documents to response otherwise let's console dot log response here otherwise if we have error so it should show us error 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 of type any and then we are going to console log the error just save it and in the then let's apply one more thing let's apply set loading false here so now let's see the changes so now i'm going to reload it so it is getting logged in so user is logged in and we are getting here undefined so that we don't want so let's console the user console.log the user just save it now let's see it is still getting undefined uh, let's see the response here it is building again now you can see that we are getting the user also we are getting the id here but it's still coming undefined so there is some issue let's see the contact service again here we have the user id and created by user id yeah that's right database id collection id and then we have a query so that is created by and user id so let's change this to string again let's see so still the response is coming undefined So let's not write await here instead of this let's try this let's reload this and see it's still getting undefined we are still getting undefined here so if I will remove this so we should see all the documents here so I'm going to refresh it So here it is still getting undefined so there is some issue so let's see what's the issue is there let's see what's the issue is there so we have the await so the issue is this here we are not returning anything so return here just save this and returning here now when i will refresh this so we should get the data you can see that we are getting a data so data is in the documents so we are getting a documents here now just go back to the page uh, in the app and uh, here we are going to set set documents response dot documents just save this so we should get the documents here now you can see that we are getting a documents and here we have name email created by everything we have we have the id here as well so let's create a table so here we are going to create a table uh, that table table uh, let first of all here will be a div div with class name as 
widthful and height odo that's padding to be 14 and flex flex coal and let the gap will be 10 just like this we have a table here so here we are going to write h1 with the class name as text for excel and font as bold and we are going to add text as center and width as full here and here margin top will be 10 and what we are going to write we are going to write users list just save it now you can see that we have the user list here so text will be 7 excel <coughs> So we have a user list here and margin top let it be 2. That's great. We don't need the items center. Uh, that is okay. Flag site auto padding 14. Actually, we don't need the margin and let the padding to be. It. So we have a users list and here it will be uh, width as 80% uh, or 60% will be uh, let it be 80%. So let's see where is 80%. So this one is 80% and here we have the T head and that the class name and we will be having the text white and uh, we will be having the bg black let's add td so first of all there will be the id and second td we will be having the name uh, so it will be th instead of td th then we will be having the name email email is there then phone and after that we will be having the h after the h we will be having the actions now let's write t body here and what we are going to do here so here we are going to add the data so for that let's add the documents dot map and here we will be having the data that will be of any type and index actually we don't need any index we have the id here and here we are going to return the td uh, first of all we are going to return the tr and then we are going to return the td so first td will be having the id so id let it be the index number and id will be index plus one index plus one and here we have the key so key will be data dollar sign id okay so here we need the name data dot name and here we need data dot email and here we need data dot name email phone and h and in the actions we will be having something different let make a class name flex and uh, items center gap 3 and here we will be having the two things one we will be having the link and link will be two edit uh, slash contact slash edit and we will be having the id so id will be same so that is data dot id so we have this link here and that will be edit instead of two it is h reference and let's add the 
we don't need the class name here and here we will be having the link to delete it so that will be of type button and its type will be button and it will be delete so we are going to add the classes here class name that is border 0 bg transparent and text we need red 600 so just save it now we should see some changes so let's see the changes here so now you can see that we are getting this one as beautiful so here let it be mx auto and we need the padding here uh, so padding will be padding y will be let it be 2 Uh, let it be 5 So padding is not working. So let's apply the padding here padding y1 uh, 2 So you can see that we have the padding here. So let apply padding as 4 So now it's looking good. So let's apply the same padding below uh, so here will be the same padding so it's not happening here so let's add the padding here just save it so now we have a padding applied here and here you can see that it's still not working delete is not working correctly so border will be none and let's it's flex one and height as full just save this so it's still not coming like that uh, let's remove the flex and let's remove the flex from here as well and let's see so now it is in the center and let's add mx auto uh, let's add text center here. So text center and here mx5 and here let's add the same thing and text blue 600. Now it's looking good. Uh, instead of uh, here we don't need any mx. Now it's looking good. So when the user will click on add in so it will go to the added one so this added operation we will do in the next video